All right, so the next step now is to open up Google Chrome or any other internet browser. And you're going to want to click on this link, which I'll have in the description. And uh, you're going to want to download this, this p3ds.zip. So once this finishes downloading, you're going to want to unzip it. So just double click on it. If you're a Mac, if you're on PC, just open it and just extract the archive. And then once it's extracted, you'll see this with pictochat.nds. So what you're going to want to do now is take your micro SD card and plug it into your dongle or whatever you have to connect it to the computer. And so once it shows up here, you're going to just want to double click on it. And you're just going to simply drag over pictochat.nds to the card and wait for it to um, copy over. All right, so I already have it copied over, so I don't need to copy it again. But once that finishes, you're just going to want to eject your card and put it back in the R4i. And now we're going to get on to what you do on the 3DS. Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to want to take your 3DS and put the R4 card in it. Now you're going to start up the R4 card and uh, wait for it to start up. Okay, so now that we're at the R4i menu, I'm just going to click on pictochat.nds. Okay. Here we are. Just gonna take the stylus down here. So first thing you're gonna want to do here is tap on this X. And now you're gonna want to tap on this little gear here. And you're gonna want to tap on this icon right here with the DS and the little picto chat thing. Now you can choose a chat room, like for example, chat room A. And we are here, picto chat. Except we see a Japanese keyboard, so we can just switch that to American keyboard here. But now you'll notice that when you tap on the keys, G -H -R -T. it says the letter that you're typing. So if you want to turn this off, make it like, you know, the original Picto Chat, how it was on the DS and the DS Lite, DSi. You're just going to want to press the little X here, press close. And now you're going to want to tap on this little book thing. And go right here, right below the um, picto chat thing. And you're going to want to go here and tap off. Now, once you've done that, you can go back into the picto chat here, press chat room A. And you'll notice that when you switch back to the American keyboard here, you type stuff. It sounds just like picto chat. And you can send messages, and it works. And now we're going to try it with other DSs. So we'll take our DS Lite here, turn it on. Okay. We're going to tap on Picto Chat. And over here, you'll see Chat Room A. So you're going to want to tap on Chat Room A. And see, now we're connected. So now, for example, if I type here test and I press send, you'll see. It appears, so it works. And you can do this on the 3DS as, as well. You can just say, hi, send, and you'll see it appears on the DS Lite. So PictoChat does fully work. And you can also do this with up to 16 DSs on a PictoChat room, just like any other DS. So I'll take my DSi here. Let's just open up PictoChat. And so see here, chat room A, we got C says here, two out of 16, because we got two devices connected. Tap on it, and you'll see it entered. So we can just, you know, send a message, and you'll see it pops up on the other DSs. So PictoChat does work. All right, so that's how you get PictoChat on your 3DS.